So I recently got in my Sliger CX3702 NAS case in for review and it came with a few of these uh, spares and it's a little SAS to SATA adapter. I did verify the obvious. You cannot use these to plug your SAS hard drive into a SATA port. You still do need a SAS controller which um, in this case is the Perk H310 that's been flashed in IT mode. Um, but it will play nice with a SAS drive with just a SATA splitter cable plugged into this. And it also obviously works with the normal SAS connector. But the thing I'm wondering is, will it make any kind of performance hit? I don't imagine it will, but don't know until we find out. This system isn't the best specs. Um, I believe this is an i5-2500 and it's obviously, as I said earlier, the Perk H310. The Perk H310 is only PCI Express Gen 2 though, so I feel like I'm not going to really see that big of a performance hit. And what I want to do out of curiosity is I want to run Crystal Disk Mark on both of these drives. Which hopefully I'm going to get enough airflow to stay cool. But yeah, I'm going to run Crystal Disk Mark on this setup and uh, compare the results. Well, the results are in, and there was an interesting test. I probably should have run the test more than once, just to verify, but when the first round of testing, the difference between the two drives for read and write speeds was so minimal, it's probably not worth spending the time to run them again. Now, it would be interesting to see if I was doing this at 12 gigabit SAS speeds, since these are actually a little bit nicer drives than uh, what this rate controller can technically handle. The rate controller will work just fine with them. It's just a matter of these are 12 gigabit and I believe the H310 is only capable of 6 gigabit SAS. So there's some performance left on the table, but thankfully that performance isn't lost through this cable or this adapter. It's just lost through the rate controller at this point. So. Hopefully that was interesting and thanks for watching.